this video I want to show you how to do a quick startup in RS Logix 5000. This is the introductory screen you see when the program boots up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on the new program right here. This can also be accomplished by coming up to file, clicking new, or selecting the new icon in the toolbar. Now the first thing we want to do is identify which controller we're using. Now in our setup we use the uh, uh, Allen Bradley Unpack Logix uh, L35E, but it, as you can see here there are a lot of options to choose from. So the first thing you have to know model your processor is. So we'll come here then we need to select our revision okay and we're going to use revision 20. This can be identified in RS links which I'll have another video on shortly. Then we're going to type a name in for the new controller and this identifies the name of the project itself. A description here is optional where the name is not. Now as you can see this chassis type is blanked out. If you're using control logics these are all chassis based. So if it was what you would do is you'd come here you'd select a control logics then you would actually have to ch select which chassis you're using most easily identifiable by the number of slots that are available for your I.O. card. Um, then you would have to select what, ch what slot number your processor is in. So in RS Logix 5000 the processor can be in any slot in the rack unlike anything in the RS Logix 500 family the processors could only be in slot 0. I'll go ahead and set this back to Compact Logix uh, L35E and then the create in is your path. This is actually the one of the most important steps if you want to know where all of your projects are going to be. So depending on how you identify them, you can go into projects and you may want to lay these out in different folders based upon what's there. Okay? So in this case, we'll just go ahead keep it in projects itself. All right, security. This will allow you to set up certain security protocols or authorizations based upon your internal network. And then whenever you're ready, you go ahead and hit OK. And then you this will allow your uh, program to boot up. RS Logix 5000 is a very powerful program, so it can take quite a while to boot up. This was a quick introduction on how to create a new program in RS Logix 5000.